So this is where we address the child sexualization and what it is to be an empath and to have to speak upon such things. What I will say is that coming from a cultural background in which we sweep a lot of things under the rug and we do not talk about things and the children are shamed and bullied into being quiet. I will say that we see that we're at a time now where there are a lot of things that are coming to the surface and are no longer um, remaining, remaining buried. And so what that reflects like for an empathic child who has been sexualized and has been quieted, it reflects that they hold that in and then shift in their personality and their behavior and their moods and temperaments. Because especially when they're not even aware that that is in fact what is disturbing their whole sense of being in the first place. So they tend to act out and they tend to act in a way that basically is very disruptive to who they are. And they really don't know any other way of um, coping because they don't have any verbiage for the things that they are experiencing. And when you grow up in a family that does not want to talk about those things, then you just don't talk about those things. And that means you're suppressing uh, a true aspect of your being and of your reality and your experience. And then you grow up into a teenager and an adult who still is holding those traumas and those episodes that you don't know about. And then when we're speaking from the Black uh, community perspective, and we see the constant traumas that are playing out on the streets on a daily basis, we recognize that we are unresolved. And as an empath who feels everything and is sensitive to everything, when things are unresolved, that makes it worse. So that means instead of you acknowledging that this has happened and you can move on in a healthy way, you are stagnating in your pain and you are in a standstill in the in those in those feelings and in that place of you're being taken back to feeling helpless and feeling voiceless and feeling confused about what exactly is happening and not being able to communicate it not being able to make sense of it and you're growing up in a world that's constantly telling you to get over things and to get a tougher skin and to bury things or to just not talk about those things. And as an empath who is a who needs to communicate and release and let things out, that is not how we maneuver and it's not going to be in our best interest. So then that is really to say what it can reflect like when a child has been sexualized, grows up into a teenager amongst their peers, and then is enacting these typically odd types of behaviors and responses. And then as well, they are now a, a, an adult and has to interact with these same traumas that are, that are unresolved. So this is what this is like, and it is really difficult and it's really challenging when we are in a community that refuses to talk about the truth, refuses to address the things that are painful but need to be discussed so that they don't repeat themselves, where they're coming from and how to address them so that they don't continue to repeat. So this is what all of these uh, videos are stemming from is to always bring the light and to bring clarity to um, the context of how we can get to the places that we do and why it is we might respond and lash out in the way that we do. And once you come to an understanding of these past traumas and how they affect you and they affect the people around you, then you start to acquire the tools and the modalities in which you can then express yourself and release them and no longer be a prisoner to the things that are painful. You can now, you now have the voice in which that you can speak and address them and you don't have to be afraid to, to, to tell your story because you are not alone. So 
in the next video i'm going to talk about and address more about what that is like and perhaps even share a more detailed story we'll see but for now i think that this is this is a good start for how we can see the other side of what it's like when you are a child who has no context for what's happening in the adult world that you're told to keep quiet and then you grow up to be an adult and realize that it's the reverse you are supposed to speak and um, tell your truth because that ultimately is what allows you to be who you are you no longer have to feel ashamed and hold the stigma of these labels that are not even you they're a, simply a manifestation of the um, trauma that you experience and it's not something that you have to hold as you it is something that you experienced and through that experience you can now empathize and know what it's like for others who may not be ready or may not know how to speak from that place and so for you doing your work then can hold the space and then can provide some of the um, tools and answers and help illuminate the path to healing. That is what having these conversations and being transparent is all about in our community and in tradition. So let's think about that. <laughs>